guys. We are headed on a no cooling call. The customer says that his normal service company told him he's got a Freon leak on the suction line at the compressor and it's non-repairable. Those are the customer's words. And they just tried to sell him a new system. Uh, supposedly they've been putting Freon in it about a pound a year for the past couple years and they finally decided to hunt the leak down and they told him that's where they found it and they said it was non-repairable and he needed a new system. I've never really heard of that before. The only thing I could think is if, is if the shell of the compressor is cracked. That would be my only thinking of unrepairable. But if it's on the copper pipe, it's very repairable. But he got referred to me and he said the past four to five years, he's stuck with his previous service company, but he just hasn't had the confidence in him that he used to. He said they've kind of went downhill on him. So we're gonna go out here and take a look and see what he's got and see what we can come up with. Okay, so we have a train XE1200. I've got the field piece with me. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this disconnect and take the top off. Ooh, these disconnects like to break. This is one of those plastic square D disconnects. Okay, it didn't break. All right, we have a two and a half ton from 01. All right, let's take the top off of it and see what we see. Okay, I can pretty much see the leak on that rotor lock. That rotor lock is uh, degrading. See that? Look at that. I wanna be very, very careful with that. warm up the field piece and go get some soap bubbles some soap bubbles out of here Doo -doo 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 -doo. which one of my bubbles right here hit it with the field piece first and then we'll soap bubble it but that can be fixed. We'll just have to buy a rotor lock from Train. So, we'll cut the pipe and weld on a new rotor lock. And uh, unscrew that one. Spray it down real good. Put a pipe wrench on it. Should be able to be fixed. A scroll compressor in it. Okay. There goes the leak detector. But I tell you what, it's not hitting off hard. There it goes. That rotor lock is falling apart.
I don't see any bubbles. Maybe down there. I'll have to play that video back. But I'm pretty confident I can fix that. Okay, guys, so basically I explained to the customer that I really think I can fix it, but I'm not, but I told him I can't guarantee it. I told him it's a 50 50 shot. But I did tell him that if he's willing to try, I'm willing to try. But I told him he cannot get mad at me if it doesn't work. He agreed. He said, I won't be mad at you. He said, if you can't fix it and it don't work out and it don't come off, then I guess I'll just have to buy a new system. So, he, I think he's got the money for a new system, but I don't think he wants to spend it. But, he, but since I was honest with him, he wants to let me try to fix it. And he said, if, if, if it doesn't work, I think he will buy a new system with me. Honestly, I want to fix it. I hope I can fix it. So if you guys have any tips for me on getting that rotor lock off, drop them down in the comments. I would truly appreciate it. We're gonna go do it uh, day after tomorrow, but that because that's my next availability. And uh, cross our fingers that I'm gonna spray it down real good with some uh, lubricant. We'll take a pipe wrench with a cheater bar and go really, really slow and just slowly, slowly try to take that thing off. If y'all think I, that's the best route for me to go for to get that thing off, let me know. If you have a better suggestion, drop it down in the comments. I truly would appreciate it. And we will film it because he won't be home. He'll be at work. We'll film the job and uh, I'll wear my GoPro so that y'all can see it, you know, as it's happening because this is on my phone right now. But we're going to try to fix that unit. I really want to fix it. The rotor lock is in stock at the train store. So uh, I'm going to pick it up tomorrow and go out there Thursday. So cross your fingers. Hopefully we can get it done. Thank you all for watching. See you all on the next one.